Assalamu alaikum hi friends today's topic is regarding conducting system of heart if you are watching my videos for first time please subscribe like comment and share most of the viewers they message me they need class for ecg so before taking ecg this is the part 1 you have to learn how a heart beat is produced inside the heart so this topic will be absolutely regarding how one heart beat is generated inside the heart so we will go to the class conducting system of heart for the generation of electrical impulses and conduction of electrical impulses heart should have some properties so we will see the these properties are done by some group of cells inside the heart okay and this group of cells should have some properties also so that only they can conduct electrical impulses first of all we will see what are the characteristics of those conduction cells in the heart first one is automaticity so what do you mean by automaticity ability to initiate an electrical impulse or ability to produce electrical impulses is called automaticity next one excitability excitability means ability to respond to an electrical impulse that means the sensory cells or the group of cells that is responsible for heartbeat or production of heartbeat has a property of production or initiation of electrical impulse and it should have ability to respond to electrical impulse also so that property is called excitability next one conductivity conductivity means the electrical impulses that is produced in the sensor cells should pass from one cell to another cell that is called conductivity so those conduction cells has the properties like automaticity excitability and conductivity next we will see which are the group of cells that is responsible for the production of impulses or production of heartbeat conduction system of heart it is done by specialized group of cells and it is called sinoatrial node and then from sinoatrial node intral node nodal pathway then av node or atrioventricular node bundle of hess and purkinje fibers so this is the pathway for conduction now we will learn one by one in next slide please don't miss this class don't scroll over listen so that only you can learn the next part ecg okay so you can see here a red portion in the heart upper portion of the right atrium that is called sa node or sinoatrial node this sa node is called natural pacemaker or primary pacemaker of the heart why because it has a property of generation of electrical impulse at a rate of 80 to 100 beats per minute so the first initiation of electrical impulse takes place in the sa node from sa node what it happens and this sa node is situated just below superior vena cava posterior laterally to the right atrium you can see it is an ellipsoid structure or it's a muscle flap that is situated in the upper portion of the right atrium or posterior lateral portion of the right atrium just below the superior vena cava what it does it, it fire or it produce electrical impulses in the atrium from the from the sa node what happens you can see some arrows that is going to somewhere so we will see what is that this is called internodal tract or pathway the electrical impulses that produced in the sa node by the property of automaticity should be conducted to other parts so isn't it and that is shown in the arrows and it supplies the electrical impulses from the sa node supplies to the right atrium and the left atrium okay and what happens when the electrical discharges reach both atrium there is a process that takes place it is called atrial systole or atrial depolarization and the time for that is called is 0.3 second so the electrical discharge that generate from the sa node reaches both atrium and the atrium contracts okay and that process is called atrial systole or atrial depolarization and the time period for this is 0.3 seconds next we will see what happens this electrical discharges reaches the atrioventricular node that is situated just below the or the lower portion or the uh, lower portion of right atrium just 1 cm above coronary sinus 
what it does when the electrical discharge came to the atrioventricular node it will be conducted from the av node to the next part we will see and the av node also has a firing rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute in some heart diseases in which sa node is not functioning okay and if it reach av node what happens next it is supplied or it is discharged to the both portion of ventricles via bundle of heat. This bundle of heat is some muscle fibers that passes through the septum and divides to right and left ventricles. It is called right bundle branch and left bundle branch. So, the electrical impulses from SA node discharge to AV node through internodal pathway. Then from AV node, it is separated to right and left uh, ventricles via bundle of His. And this is called right bundle branch and left bundle branch. This bundle of His also has a firing rate of 20 to 40 beats per minute. What happens next? From the branches, it goes to Purkinje fibers you can see in the orange color what is this Purkinje fibers means they are resembling like a uh, roots of a tree like that it will be supplying like small 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 fibers in whole portion of the ventricles so what happens here from the av node bundle of his and then Purkinje fibers they get electrical discharge and they together make the ventricles to contract and that process is called ventricular systole or ventricular depolarization and the time period for this is 0.3 second so for the contractions we take 0.1 second for the atrial contraction and 0.3 second for the ventricular contraction so for con by the contraction this blood is supplied right from the right ventricle it is supplied to the pulmonary artery to the lungs and from left ventricle it is supplied to the iota and to the peripheral body okay so this process complete so this is this process we can tell as action potential where the contractions takes place after contraction they should relax also there should be a resting potential also so that process is called the relaxation of the ventricles and atrium for the filling of the blood Okay, for the another filling of blood is called complete cardiac repolarization. Okay, or diastole, and that pro that process takes place in zero point four second. So for the contraction, zero point one second plus zero point three second total four. 0.4 second and for the relaxation or repolarization again 0.4 that means 0.8 total and that is called a complete cardiac cycle you understand so you can see in the picture the electrical impulse comes from SA node, internodal tract, AV node, uh, then a bundle of His and then Purkinje fibers. This is the conducting system of heart and all those processes resemble something in ECG or the waves in ECG. We will be learning this in next class. I hope all of you understand. Next slide also you can see the same but uh, you just listen uh, just watch to the right arrows where it is going from SA node the internodal pathway you can see the both atria are supplied then to the ventricles via bundle of his or uh, Purkinje fibers like that so this is also resembling same uh, picture before hope all of you understand this class and i want your uh, feedback also and uh, just subscribe my channel comment like and share so that i will be coming with next topic soon and i want all of you to learn uh, if i make it too much short also you will be missing some points i don't want that please listen make notes and uh, hope for the best okay we will see in next videos bye bye